don't know. At this point, it looks like Hyolin is going to take the crown. And to be honest with you, I think she deserves it. I can't believe I ever doubted this woman. I'm saying I, I don't want to come down from you. Hey guys, it's Bree Seasony here. Welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm super late, but I finally got the chance to watch the second round of performances from Queendom 2. This round of performances completely blew me away. I was shocked. I was so surprised because all of the performances this round were so good in my opinion. It was really hard for me to make decisions and rank, but I wanted to come on here and share my ranking with you guys, even though I'm super late, like I mentioned before. Now I'm going to give a quick disclaimer before this video, especially because some of the reactions I got during my last Queendom 2 video. This ranking is based on my personal opinion of the performances, what I feel in regards to the performances, what I like about the performances, etc. Yes, I am aware of what the judges say on the show, about what the contestants say on the show, but this video isn't about that, it's based on my opinion. So if you're one of those people who like can't handle other people's opinions, and if you're gonna get mad just because I rank your group lower than you think they should be ranked, just click off this video. If you leave a ridiculous comment like some of you guys did on my last video, you're gonna be blocked. So don't don't even waste your time. But if you are a normal person and you can handle other people's opinions and you're curious to see how I ranked these performances and if you are able to agree to disagree, keep watching and I hope you enjoy this video. And now let's get right into it. So in last place this time, I have Kepler. And yeah, I would have to say, especially compared to the last round, I really liked Kepler's last performance, but this round's performance really didn't do it for me. Kepler performed a mix of Brave Girls Pool Party and Roland. I guess what kind of ruined the performance for me was I didn't really like the instrumental. I didn't watch the full episode, but I have no idea why they chose to mix Roland and Pool Party. I just feel like it wasn't really necessary. Everybody knows Knows that Roland is that breakout song from Brave Girls, but I really think they should have just stuck with Pool Party. Pool Party is a great song in itself. We don't always need to associate Roland with Brave Girls, and I just didn't really like the remix. It just wasn't doing it for me. The Roland part during the chorus just didn't fit. I think the girls performed well. I think that the stage looked absolutely amazing, especially compared to last round. They definitely put a lot more into it. I loved Hikaru solo. I loved shouting with the dance break, but overall I still have to say that this performance was my least favorite from this round. Okay, so next up I have a tie between Luna and Brave Girls. I'm going to speak about Brave Girls first. So first of all, I did look at the results from this round and I was actually shocked that Brave Girls came in last place. I really, really thought that they deserved a higher rank this round. They actually performed Mask by Kepler, which is a song that I love. And I really think that Brave Girls took the song and made it their own. They kind of put a retro disco spin onto the song as far as their remix. They had a lot of mask references during the performance. There was a lot of choreo and storytelling, a lot of interaction between them and the backup dancers, and their vocals were just so stable, so good, so flawless. They all did amazing, and I think this is the strongest performance that we've gotten from Brave Girls in this competition. So the fact that they still came in last had me like, wow, you know, I thought that they did really, really well. But I really loved their performance, and I'm definitely going to check out their version of Mask on Spotify and add it to my library because it is that good. As expected, Luna did amazing too. I think they've been killing it through the competition, and their storytelling for this performance was so good. They covered Shake It by Sis star representing Hyolin and they just really did amazing. I really loved how theatrical the performance and the instrumental was, the outfits, the stage. I really feel like out of all the performances this round, their performance was the most like larger than life theatrical. Like you really got an entire experience. I think that Luna is super talented. I said it when I started watching this season and I'll say it again. They're one of the competitors that the other girls will have to watch out for because it seems like they continue to bring it over and over again. The performance was just so 
fun to watch. I was like at the edge of my seat trying to figure out what was going to happen next. And I thought the whole concept was good for Luna because I feel like a lot of times when people think of Luna, they think of their more hard hitting girl crush songs maybe. So it was really cool that they did a cute concept to kind of change things up and show how versatile they are as artists in this competition. So I have Brave Girls and Luna tied for fourth place. Third place, I have Vivi's, and let me say, Vivi's really surprised me with this performance. They performed Unnatural by WJSN, which I think was a great fit for them as artists. I think that they sang the song really well. I also thought that the remix of the song was really interesting and fitting for them. When I think of Vivi's, I kind of think of elegant, mature concepts, which I also affiliate with WJSN. So I really liked that they took Unnatural and gave it like a Latin spin. The costumes were amazing, the dancers were amazing, the stage was amazing. There was a lot of storytelling going on. I don't know. I think out of all the performances so far that we've seen from Vivi's, in my opinion, this one was their best. I was really impressed by their vocals too. I think that they killed it as far as that. Specifically Umji. I loved Unha's high notes. I loved Shinbi's rapping as well. Overall, I think it was a really good, well-rounded performance and I really enjoyed it. So that's why I have Vivi's in third place. <laughs> In second place, we have WJSN. Can we talk about this dark concept? I did not expect it, but I really enjoyed it. WJSN covered Navalera by G Friend, and they totally nailed it. I loved the remix of the song, and besides like the dark concept, which I really liked in the storytelling, the vocals are what really, really sold me during this performance. Sola's singing was amazing, Dalyan's singing was amazing, and I think the other member's name is Unji. Her high notes were amazing. Her vocals all throughout were very stable and so good, but she was killing the high notes. The vocal part of this performance was probably my favorite part, besides all the extravagant choreo, the stage, and the storytelling. But overall, for me, it was the perfect performance. I loved it. Watching the season of Queendom really makes me want to get into WJSN because I feel that they're all super talented, and it seems like they continue to bring it every round in this competition. So yeah, this performance was in second place because I absolutely loved it. Like I said, loved the remix of the song, loved the vocals, Yodam's dance break towards the end was amazing, loved XE's rap part towards the middle and accompanied by all of the amazing vocals by the vocal line. I couldn't find any faults in this performance. I thought it was amazing. You guys already know. In first place, I have Hyolin, Hyoyanse. She slayed. First of all, when she came down from the ceiling in that cat suit, straight up Catwoman, I could not believe what I was seeing. This performance was amazing. The choreo, the dancers, the stage, her vocals, I just have no words. She really took Luna's So What and made it her own. She nailed all the crazy high notes in this song while working the stage. Like I've mentioned before, her stage presence is incredible. She demands your attention. Even with all those backup dancers and everything else going on on stage, you are just drawn to her. And once again, we have another round where Hyolin achieved a perfect score. I don't know, at this point it looks like Hyolin is going to take the crown and to be honest with you, I think she deserves it. I can't believe I ever doubted this woman and what I mean by that is when I heard that she was going to participate in the competition, I was afraid because she was the only solo artist and I was wondering how she was going to compete with all of these groups. I felt that the groups would have an advantage being that they have more people performing, but it looks like I was wrong. At this point, I would be surprised if Hyolin doesn't win unless there's some crazy twist and for some reason she doesn't keep holding the momentum that she's built so far, I would be really surprised if she didn't win this competition or at least come in like second place or something. But let me know in the comments what you think of these performances and how you guys ranked them. So as I mentioned before, Hyolin got first place. In second place, we have Luna, third place WJSN, fourth place VBs, fifth place Kepler, and sixth place Brave Girls. Like I mentioned before, I was surprised that Brave Girls came at the bottom once again. I felt bad for them, and I feel like they deserved more points. Wasn't surprised at all that Hyolin took a perfect score because I thought her performance was amazing. And to be honest, the rest of the rankings didn't really surprise me much. Kind of made sense when I thought about the performances. But guys, let me know in the comments what you thought of these performances 
comments is how you would rank them and also let me know about your thoughts on the final results from this round. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to thumbs it up and subscribe. Also make sure to join my server if you want a safe space to talk about K-pop. We actually have a thread dedicated solely to Queendom 2 where we chat about the show. So feel free to join and join in on the discussion. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.